Hey everyone, I'm Marina, an applied scientist at Twitch or Amazon, and today I'm sharing something that is invaluable for your machine learning career, how to actually learn machine learning system design, even coming from a non-technical background. If you can build amazing models and notebooks, but get lost when someone mentions scalability or deployment pipelines, then this video is for you. And stick around to the end because I'll share a popular new book that's received a ton of praise that I actually thought was kind of mid. Not all resources are created equal, and I want to save you time and money by sharing the best ones today. So before diving into resources, let's talk about why machine learning system design even matters. First, it's crucial for interviews, especially for more senior positions. You're just not going to pass machine learning engineer interviews without this knowledge. Second, even if you're not targeting senior roles yet, understanding these principles is essential for career growth and avoiding costly mistakes. Because third, without proper system design, you could build stuff that causes huge problems for your company and users when it breaks in production. And finally, it's just interesting to know how these big systems work. For this guide, I'm assuming you're already comfortable building and evaluating models in notebooks or research environments. The resources I discuss won't be covering the basics of things like model selection, metric definitions, or feature engineering. This learning path is especially designed for data scientists with limited CS or systems knowledge, but those with computer science backgrounds will still find a lot of value on the ML-specific stuff as we build up our understanding from beginner to advanced. The first resource I recommend to introduce these concepts in a way that's not too intimidating or technical is Designing Machine Learning Systems. I absolutely loved this book. The book takes a holistic approach to designing machine learning systems that are reliable, scalable, maintainable, and adaptive to changing environments and business requirements. It covers key topics like engineering data and choosing the right metrics, automating model development and deployment, developing monitoring systems, architecting machine learning platforms that serve multiple use cases, and building responsible machine learning systems. This book was a game changer for me because it bridged the gap between my data science knowledge and the engineering principles I needed for production ML. Oh, and a quick side note. I also learned a ton from Chip's newer book, AI Engineering. While it's focused on building AI apps rather than pure system design, I picked up many transferable concepts that I've used in other applications. I actually have a long video summarizing all the concepts from that book if you're interested in that as well. So now that you have a solid grasp of machine learning specific system design from Chip's book, let's move on to something else that's also really practical acing machine learning system design interviews. For this, the next resource I recommend is Machine Learning System Design Interview by Ali Aminian and Alex Chu. This book gets more practical about interviewing and helps connect concepts you learned in designing machine learning systems to how real companies actually implement them. What's great about this book is it gives you an insider perspective on what interviewers are really looking for, it provides a step-by-step -step framework for solving any machine learning system design interview question. It walks through 10 real machine learning system design problems with detailed solutions. And it includes a ton of diagrams that visually explain how various systems work. This book covers interesting use cases like visual search systems, Google Street View blurring, YouTube video search, harmful content detection, recommendation systems, and more. By the way, this quality of explanation is exactly what's missing from that disappointing book I mentioned earlier, but more on that soon. After you finish these two resources, you'll have a solid high-level understanding of machine learning systems. But there's one problem. They both kind of gloss over some of the infrastructure decisions that are common in more traditional system design interviews. For machine learning engineers, this knowledge is really valuable too. For a high-level overview of general system design, I really enjoyed Educative's Grokking the Modern System Design Interview course. This course presents a selection of general software system design problems with detailed solutions that help you handle complex scalability scenarios. The course covers a modular approach to system design interviews, designing complex systems using various building blocks, and case studies on how popular large-scale services are constructed. In this course, you'll learn about everything from DNS and load balancers to distributed caches, pub sub systems, and more. The course also walks through designing real-world systems like YouTube, Quora, Google Maps, Uber, Twitter, Instagram, and WhatsApp. At this point in your journey, if you understood everything you've read so far, you probably know enough for most machine learning engineer roles. But for really high-level positions at top companies, you'll need to be able to not only explain what solution is best, but why. And that's exactly where many courses fall short. They present solutions without really explaining the underlying reasoning or trade-offs. To truly understand the why behind system design decisions, you should read Designing Data Intensive Applications by Martin Kleppman. This book has a 4.7 star rating for a good reason. Yes, it's long and technical, but it's not written in a completely unapproachable way. I was able to read and understand it without a computer science background in my second year of doing machine learning. Kleppman helps you navigate the diverse landscape of data tools by examining the pros and cons of various technologies. He covers fundamental principles that remain constant even as software keeps changing. In this book, you'll learn about the strengths and weaknesses of different data processing tools, trade-offs around consistency, scalability, and fault tolerance, 
the distributed systems research that modern databases are built on, and the architecture behind major online services. If reading the whole book seems daunting, there are also really great summary videos on YouTube that can help you get started. Now, remember that popular book I mentioned that I found a little disappointing? There's this new book that's been getting really positive reviews since its release in January 2025, but despite the hype, I found it lacking for anyone beyond the absolute beginner. The content stays at a very high level and may not challenge or add value for those with even a little bit of ML experience. So while it might serve as an introductory overview for true beginners, if you're after practical, in-depth insights into machine learning system design, the earlier resources I mentioned offer a much more robust and comprehensive learning experience. Now I've given you a lot of resources, both good and bad, but it's important not just to passively learn by reading books and taking courses. Try to design and build real projects to apply what you're learning. Here are some ideas you can tackle on your own using modern tools. So you could create a personalized news recommender system. So maybe you build a simple recommendation engine that curates news articles based on user interests. You could use Python, Hugging Face Transformers, Fast API for serving the model, Streamlit or Gradio for the UI, and a vector database like Pinecone or Elasticsearch for embeddings. Or you could create an automated ML model deployment pipeline. So you train a model on any data set and create an end-to-end -end deployment pipeline that retrains and updates the model when new data arrives. You could use tools like Docker, AWS Lambda, Terraform for infrastructure as code, GitHub Actions for automation, and MLflow for tracking models. Or maybe you make a scalable image search system, kind of like Google reverse image search. In this case, you'd build a system where users upload an image and it returns similar images from a data set. The tools you could use would be maybe OpenAI Clip Model, AWS S3 for storage, Streamlit or Gradio for a UI, and SageMaker or Hugging Face Inference Endpoints to host the model. Not only will you learn from building projects like this, but you'll also have something solid to showcase in interviews. And once you're interviewing, practicing under pressure is especially important. So do mock interviews or use interview practice platforms to really make sure you have all the concepts down. Finally, keep your knowledge up to date by following technical blogs and reading papers from big companies that share how they manage to design large scale, tricky systems. If you follow this learning path, starting with Chip's book, moving to the ML system design interview book, exploring grokking modern system design, and finally diving into data intensive applications before building your own projects, you'll build a really solid foundation in machine learning system design. This knowledge will transform how you approach machine learning problems, make you much more valuable on the job market, and help you build systems that actually work in production. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe for more content on machine learning and career development. Drop a comment if you have questions about any of these resources or if you found other great ways to learn ML system design. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.